All right, Blues, it's my favourite time of the week, top five time. We're going to be going through City's top young stars that might just become England's top young stars. I'm excited, you're excited. Let's crack on with the top five. Sneaking in at number five is Keane Bryan, a versatile box-to-box -box midfielder who joined City aged just 11 and played for City's under-18s aged just 15. He's played for England at under-16, under-17, under-18, under-19 and under-20 level and looks set to break into City's first team very soon and could well fill a gap for England left by Steven Gerrard. Who knows, definitely one to watch. Coming in at number four is Brandon Barker, a Manchester lad who has earned himself a lot of hype over the last couple of seasons and well deserved it has been. He has dominated the left wing for the EDS, tricky with both feet, pace, creativity, it seems like he's got the lot. England have waited years for a left winger who can finally do the business and now Raheem Sterling has come along, can Brandon Barker join him and provide some stiff competition for that left flank? Up at number three then is Cameron Humphreys, a City player who made his debut earlier in pre-season in front of 100,000 people against Real Madrid and looked the part as well. Humphreys has already played for England's under-16s, captain in the side in a victory shield success. He looks like he's going to have a big role for both club and country. A strong, imposing defender, he's drawn comparisons to the likes of John Terry. But let's hope those comparisons of his actions on the field are not his actions off it. I'll be happy. A close runner-up in second place is Angus Gunn, son of Norwich City's legendary goalkeeper, Brian Gunn. He's already made his impact on England under-21s and impressed the City at every level. He looks like a ready-made future replacement for Joe Hart. But with Hart and Caballero both in Pellegrini's squad, it might be a little while before we see Angus Gunn break into City's first team. I wouldn't say that to his face. He's six foot five. I'd say it to his shoulder. Coming in on the top spot at number one is Patrick Roberts, City's top young star and widely considered England's top young star, which is probably why City paid £9 million for his services this summer. Roberts looks like he's going to prove all of those Fulham fans that have been gushing about how good he is right, and I think he's going to do it. He's already broken into City's first team and scored what can only be described as a wonder goal for the youth team against Juventus in a UEFA Youth League match. And let's look at England's right-hand side. If Ashley Young, Oxlade Chamberlain, Aaron Lennon can get him down the right, surely Patrick Roberts can, and he can go one better. He could even lead the line for England in a World Cup future years. I believe in it. Do you believe in it? Let us know in the comments below. How good is Roberts? Is he City's best young player? It's all down there. Maybe you're a Brandon Barker man. Let me know. Give it a like. This video has ended. Thank you very much. See you next time.